Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this week I wanted to talk a little bit about what I purchased at Girly Bits Cosmetics. Now Girly Bits Cosmetics is new to me. I've never heard of from like heard of them before until I started watching um, nail experiments. She has a channel on YouTube and she gets PR packages all the time. And I thought I would try some of their stuff. They are located in Canada. So if you're in the US like me, the shipping takes a little bit. But this is the card that came in the package. Like I said, I purchased these two things by myself so I am not obligated to make these to make this video. But I just wanted to because there's one product in particular that I'm going to be talking about in this video that is new to me and might be new to y'all, but let me show you their information. There's that. In case you guys want to go look on their website for yourself, it's right here. That's some of the stuff you can get. But I purchased the Rejuvenate, which is the nail polish thinner. It's 5.3. I'm still playing around with this. Don't really know how I feel about it. But, what can you really say about a thinner? <laughs> but this is the product that I wanted to do this video over. It's on the website, it's called OMG Becky Look at Her Acetone. And what this is, is a moisturizing acetone additive. As you can see, my nails are all busted and need to be taken off with acetone. I only use acetone anymore, because it just... Is faster than anything else and I never heard of an acetone additive and what this does is you know how when you use acetone sometimes your, your skin and your nails will get white like let me see like on this hand this is my non showing hand so my nails look all a little bit funky I don't know if you can see this, but this nail in particular is has is white and like the cuticle is white and all that stuff. That's because um, acetone is so drying and it just dries them out. Well, this is supposed to help with that. So, and this is only five fluid ounces or fifteen milliliters, depending on where you are. And you're supposed to put this entire bottle into a 250 ml bottle of pure acetone and I got the chocolate covered strawberry scent these are scented they have a whole list of different scents and I just thought this one sounded relatively interesting and let me tell you something when I just took this out of the package I didn't even open the bottle yet this smelled so good I could smell it right out of the packaging and she had this cap taped up with I'm gonna guess electrical tape it was purple electrical tape just so that it wouldn't like pop open in shipping which I really do appreciate but on the instructions it says to shake well and then pour it into the two, 250 mil pure acetone so let's shake it up because you can see there's glycerin in here glycerin and water and some other things so you can see that it's separated like all the yellow is up here and everything else so let's shake it up this isn't quite 250 mils and this is pure acetone this was just an empty bottle I had because the normal bottle of acetone I have is this right here, the Onyx Professional one. See? This is what I use, but this one is 473 milliliters, so I had this bottle laying around, so I just deposited some of the acetone in it, and I was going to use it. So... This isn't quite 250 milliliters, so 
the additive will be a little more potent than it probably usually is, but oh well. So I shook it up some more, and now I'm going to put it in. And even the smell from just pouring it in smells so good. So I'm happy about that. Now we gotta, I'm gonna shake it up. Let me shake it up off camera. So there it is in the acetone. The acetone doesn't look really any different, but nail polish off except for these two nails. So what I'm going to do is I like to use these clips to let it soak off for a little bit. I did a review on these a while back and I still use them. I love them. And I use the lint free little pad things that came with them. I had like it came with over a thousand of them so I still have a huge supply. <laughs> but I do like these to let it soak off for a little bit. So one nail is going to be the acetone with the additive and the other nail is just going to be pure acetone and I'm going to show you hopefully there will be a difference. So I'll be back in just a minute. So these have been on my nails and soaking for about eight minutes or so. So let's see, this is the one that had the acetone additive and this one was just plain acetone. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen, but sometimes, even when I pull them off, sometimes a little bit of nail polish is left on and I have to go back over it a couple times. Don't worry about that, that's no big deal. So, let's take off the one with no additive first. And you can see that this is super dry. But all the nail polish came off. Now that the one with the additive. Hold on. It seems like it's not as dry. Like around here is not all white and weird looking. So the additive actually worked. Here's a side by side. How cool is that, y'all? And as you can see, over here is a little bit left, so I'll just go in and take it off. But that is awesome. And I and like the acetone does not cover up the smell that you get since this is chocolate covered cherries, or strawberries, excuse me. I can still smell the scent of this. Even when I was putting the acetone on and stuff like that, the acetone itself did not overshadow this. So, I think this acetone additive is really awesome. Now, you don't have to get it from Girly Bits. I don't... It wasn't that expensive, but, you know, with the U.S. I think this... With the U.S. conversion from the Canadian money to the U.S. money, I think this ended up being maybe $5. And some people might find that a little bit expensive for just, like, 15 milliliters thing, and you use it all at once in one time. But... It's not terrible. There, um, I know Bliss Kiss came out with their own acetone additive a couple months ago, I believe. I have not tried that one. This is my first acetone additive that I've tried, and I love it. So whenever I run out of acetone, I will probably order a different scent of this. So I don't get that weird white after using the acetone because it, it always is like weird to me that it does that but I love using acetone so anyways if you wanted to try it here's a little review from me 
<laughs> but like I said, I bought this myself. I was not obligated to do a video on this at all. I just thought this was really neat and I had never heard of an acetone additive before. So if it was new to me, could be new to some of you and I wanted to let you know about it. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me know you like my videos as well as me. If you see a big red subscribe button down below, that means you're not subscribed to my channel. So be sure to hit that so you are subscribed to my channel. After hitting the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell so you get notified when I upload so you never miss a video. Leave a comment down below for what you'd like to see next, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!